Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls, for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight, because tonight's story is called The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because it, this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. And so the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oop! And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all of the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cakes until... There was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking on the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water from the tap. Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have a bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the taps. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe and they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. The end. Wow, that is an amazing book by Judith Kerr, who was actually born in Germany in 1923. But she escaped and settled in England. Where did she escape from? Well, that's what you'd have to find out. But it's a beautiful book, and it's one that I remember from when I was a little angel like you. So if you'd love to read a story about a tiger that came to tea, pick up this book, The Tiger Who Came to Tea, by Judith Kerr. And that's another story on the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for little angels like you. Good night. <laughs>